What's up guys, Z Hunter Fisher. Welcome back to another Epi Banger video. If you guys can't tell, there's a little bit of difference in quality with my camera. So recently I just got a new camera for the channel. Actually, it was a hookup from PND Fishing. I wanna say shout out to him. If you guys don't know who he is already, I'm gonna leave a link at the very top of the description for this camera because he earned it. I now have a brand new film camera that's actually a camera. Before I was actually using an iPhone 11, which I actually got from Golly Guy or Instagram handle, I'm too drunk for this. He actually gave me a iPhone 11 to use before. Now I'm using an actual camera, which is pretty awesome because I love the quality on it and I'm super excited. But if you guys wanna see what I'm really super excited about, stay tuned for the rest of the video because we're going to be doing a boat makeover. So recently I also got a Pelican Bass Raider 10E and I'm going to be putting attachments on it and everything for this video because currently it's pouring outside. So we have got to do a little bit of boat work today and stay dry because I don't have a waterproof GoPro. So that's going to be a little bit tough, but I'm going to head over to uh, p and Fishing's house and I'm actually going to go start getting to work on the boat. We're putting things like a trolling motor, hooking up wires, fish finders. I'm putting carpet on it and everything I have in the back of my truck right now. How about I stop talking and we start get to talking about this boat i'll see you guys at the house all right guys what's up we are currently at pnd fishing's house and we got the boat set up and ready we're over here got the boat set up right there there's pnd's dad we're at the house so we're gonna get a few things set up what we're gonna start out with is probably my fish finder i have a garmin striker plus four cv or whatever it's called it has down scan and all that stuff what i'm planning on doing actually probably gonna throw that right there in the middle and i'm gonna put that green artificial carpet in the middle of the boat to run along to get rid of the like feeling along these ridges right here because i don't really like the way these ridges feel so i'm gonna put carpet in there and what i want to do is i want to try to see if i can set the battery back here and have the trolling motor up there so that i can even out the weight better along the boat so that no matter what even if there's somebody in the front somebody in the back who's heavier or whatever it's always going to be even because the trolling motor i have is a 50 pound thrust and that's pretty heavy so hopefully we can figure that out you said you have the plug for the red piece, right? Yeah, we have the plug, cool. the connectors, and everything. So, Dope. we should so, be able to get you going. We're going to do that, and uh, I'll give you guys an update once I have everything all put together, all the pieces that we're putting on it. I'm going to show you guys, like, just all together what it looks like. All right, guys, uh, so a little update. PD fishing. Yeah. His dad. Yeah. We're doing a little bit of pieces and whatever right now. We got the fish finder, Garmin Striker 4. We are not in focus. Focus, there we go. We got the Garmin Striker fit with the mount, but we've run into an issue. Only two of the screw holes fit. So that's gonna be fun to figure out that one. So essentially what we're gonna do is just mount that on there. What I'm actually gonna do is, where's, where's the little rail? Rail's over there. Oh yeah, the rail. So what we're actually gonna do with this little rail mount here is instead of mounting it like right here, we're actually gonna mount it right there and have the transducer hang off the side and have the bracket for the fish finder come out like, like, like this and it's going to face up towards us. So instead of, you know, being on this and like being in the way of rods and stuff like that, plus we cannot get the clearance from inside the boat to over the boat. So what we're going to do is just mount the rail right there and we're going to have it hanging in the water and super easy. It's really dope and uh, yeah, let's get back to work. So guys, uh, we are gonna update again. Uh, essentially, the screws don't have a nut to go on there, so we're gonna have to figure that one out. We're gonna run up the tractor supply. I'm gonna do a little bit of log skis while we're up there. And um, we got the Garmin transducer all ready to go. We got everything ready to go. I'm gonna update you guys when we get out of tractor supply. We gotta go grab some nuts so that we can mount it to the mounting plate that I got. Which, by the way, if you guys wanna go get the BroCraft mounting plate that I got off Amazon, link will be in the description below. Go check it out. All right, guys, we are back from Tractor Supply. I'm loaded up with my Mountain Dew. I got me my Mountain That's Dew. Sponsor. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get for that sponsorship. <laughs> I know I sound like Lojo right now, Hi, but Lojo. yeah. Not even close. And uh, we got some nuts, some bolts, and some washers. So Please we're going to do that. And I'm, I'm keeping that in there too. <laughs> I'm keeping that in there. So we got we get everything switched up and uh, get everything started to get going. I'm just honestly dawdling now. What I'm saying. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> so let's. I'm gonna just shut up and let's get to work.
All right, guys, we're about to head to Ace Hardware for the second time. Ace tractor Hardware. Supply. Ace Hardware? Tractor Supply. Sorry, tractor Supply. Second tra <laughs> screws. Screws. We need screws. So, essentially, what's he, what he's doing is cutting up my transducer right now to uh, make it size to fit. Just a little modification. Yeah, he's making it size to fit for so we can actually essentially screw it in through the top and put, like, a bolt to hold it because the way that the... Thing is designed so to explain it with the scotty mount that i'm using is for some reason it's built for like a for like a uh lorance transducer so usually lorance transducer you can screw down in here but when this one we would want it to go sideways but it's not big enough to go sideways so that's the problem that we're running into so what we're going to do is we're going to try to find a bolt that goes in there and that we can use for this by cutting it in holding it in the transducer with the screw right here. But yeah, this is the whole thing put together so far. Um, we just gotta tighten it right there. I'm gonna have the mounting plate come up through here and facing back up. So, you all get the point. And then we're probably gonna run to the battery. What? It'll actually look like this right here. Yep, so that's essentially what we're doing. If you guys wanna do that, I'll include the links to everything that we're using down below. Time to go to Tractor Supply again. Let's go. All right, guys, well, we're back at the house. Uh, we so far have only the rail mount on, and that's about it. We haven't done a whole lot uh, as of right now, so I will, we are gonna put together some things, and hopefully the next step that y'all get is uh, with some stuff actually on the boat, so let's get to it. All right, it's time for an update skis, oh my God. All right, so, so far we have gotten the actual fish finder on there, so I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. We got a dude putting on a battery right there. <laughs> and then we got the fish finder just like so. So what I love about this is off the boat so that you can actually look at it from both ends. So the reason why I put it in the middle instead of the front or the back is so that both people can look at the fish finder so that both people know how to use it. So we're gonna test it out, see if it powers on everything. Here's the transducer. It's a little loose and a little wiggly, but that's okay. You know, everything's not gonna be perfect, but we made it work for what we got. So we're just gonna hook up everything and uh, we're gonna see if it works, you know making sure it all works together and the power runs. Does it fit? It does not. Oh, man. Okay. Of course it doesn't. All right. Uh, killed the video. So, got it uh, turned on. Um, the only thing is, is the sonar's not plugged in right now. The transducer is disconnected. Oh, you right, let's put it in the transducer. All right, so we're currently in uh, 83 degree water. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, we got the, everything set up. It's working, power's running to it. We're just trying to dremel out the uh, terminals right now because the terminals weren't wide enough for the battery. So we're literally taking a drill bit and just trying to screw it to where it actually gets to uh, where it's wide enough to fit the terminal in there. So I'm trying to figure that out right now. So yeah, we're just trying to figure that out right now and uh, we'll get back to you when everything is completely done. We're gonna try to get the carpet done, all that stuff. I'll see you guys then. All right, guys. So here's a little bit of a day. Part up and up, <laughs> up a day. Yeah, perfect. Parker is testing out the new carpet that we just literally folded and put in. It's literally putting green. I'm we might put like padding. Hero. <laughs> He's doing something to the transducer right now. But we're gonna put some padding underneath the carpet and then make it to where it probably won't slip around. What I thought about doing is taking some padding and stapling it to the carpet. Probably not a good idea, seeing that it's could get in our feet. I don't know, something like that. But we're gonna do that, and the reason why I like that carpet there is because it looks nicer and it's more comfortable, so. Don't you think it's comfortable? Yeah. Yep, so it's comfortable, so. Hey Hunter, did we ever get the bolts to fit? <laughs> yeah, we actually did. So we got the bolts to fit on the second trip after two trips to uh, Tractor Supply. So nonetheless, I'm gonna give you all some sick B-roll of the boat, and uh, I'll see you guys about when we fully get everything done. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are all done with the boat and here it is. There's the putting green and everything that I was so excited for. So shout out to PND and his dad for helping me out. PND is dad. Yes. P okay, P there is no with Parker and Dad. There That's is what no, it is. There is no with dad, it's PND. 
He's the E. So he's the P. He's the P. He's the D. Don't ever leave the people that care about you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys a little come like overall tour of the boat to show you what all we did and uh, what kind of modifications. Really not that much. I mean, it's a start. <laughs> yeah, it's a start. That's the biggest modification I mean, right there. There is a few pieces them. that I'm going to add later on to fix. So this right here is a weird port. It's like a three prong port. Usually we don't have that at work, so I didn't have one to get. We have the Traffic Master eight by six foot putting green carpet. I like this putting green carpet because it's so soft. And it's nice, but what we're gonna do is put pads underneath it, and I'm like gonna either zip tie, because you give me the idea to zip, zip tie stuff, and I might zip tie it or staple it to it. And then we have the Fish Finder Garmin Striker Plus 4 CV. It turns on and on, I showed you guys earlier in the video, but we do have the transducer set up right here, and everything ready to go. There's a few different attachments that we have specifically, so I was talking about the plug there, is I'm gonna put the trolling motor over there on the front, and I'm gonna put the battery back here to even out the weight better. I can't really think of anything else. Yeah, so, sick, yeah. overall, this is the boat. This is what it looks like from the far awayness, right there. So, that's what the boat looks like. It looks super dope. Definitely super excited to take it out here soon. Not taking it out in today's video, but I will be taking it out probably in the next video I put out here soon. So, definitely excited to take it out on our maiden voyage. I need to give it a name. And they're gonna lose. Yeah, we're gonna lose. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I actually gotta tell the story. So, I actually got this boat from these two when they got their new slaunch slayer that's like way over there. I can kind of point at it right there. So when they got that new boat, I got this one from them because I needed a boat and I wanted to get rid of my kayak because I don't ever use it. So I sold my kayak, now I have this thing, and that's where they came from. That's the reason why their link will be at the very top description. Do me a favor, go hit them up. Thank, thanks to them for helping me out with the whole thing. It was awesome. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out, but they also just hinted at a video that is on the way very soon, hopefully, if this hurricane doesn't rack us. So hopefully that doesn't happen. That is a video that's coming in the future. Hopefully things go well. That is it for today's video, guys. I wanna say thanks again for whoever's watching this far. Just do me a favor real quick, hit that subscribe button, make sure those bell notifications are on. It always helps me out. If you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go use code HunterFish for your first MTB as low as $10. Go hit up all my Amazon links. It always helps me out. Thanks for guys. Thanks guys for watching. And remember, fish fear me.